Okay, ahead with Joseph Mario there. They're going for the title, and if they don't get the title, top four finish is a progression from what happened last season. But will United be satisfied with the top four finish with Jose, Zlatan, and Pogba? Uh, well, he's just telling you that that is not what he's aiming for. He's aiming for the title. A lot okay. of other coaches have not been uh, that uh, you know out, out, they've not been out there like that yeah, saying I, I want I want to win the title. He's come and say this is what I'm, this is what I'm going for. Of course, with all the players and everything I have. Mm. But he's saying if he doesn't win the title, yeah. then top four definitely Mario is not going to look at uh, just finishing fourth. Worst case scenario, it'd be a second place finish. Yeah. But it's good that he's come out to he's told you guys what he what he hopes to achieve and. I think I think uh, bold statement from Mourinho. <laughs> that is what we, we should expect yeah, yeah. no less with every, every, everything they have. Um, okay, you can now. Top now after just one game. <laughs> thanks to uh, Arsenal. Yeah, thanks to <laughs> Arsenal. But I mean, the last time it happened with Chelsea, they led from start to finish. Um, expecting something similar here as well. Ah, uh, this is going to be a very very competitive uh, season. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. with all the coaches and everything, the way players have been moving around, that's the same way coaches have moved around. So I don't think it will be that possible to. You know, stay on top the way Chelsea did uh, two seasons ago. Season ago uh, yeah. We need uh, starting from the first day till the last day. I, I don't think this will happen mm -hmm. this season because uh, uh, at one point we expect uh, Guardiola to get in tune with the Premiership and know what he what he's supposed to do. Antonio Conte, too, who said he's been sleeping only two hours every day, trying to find out how he can make this Chelsea team uh, match his ambition and his his formation and everything. So it's it, it's going to pan out to be a very interesting season. We, it, it's a long one, and we, we hope to see it the best. Okay. Okay. Quickly look at the papers right now, right? Um, okay, what's the headlines? All the headlines here is all about the Dream Team semi final against uh, Germany. We'll start with Sporting Sun. And uh, what do we have here? Dream Team breaks in 40 million naira, returns to Sao Paulo, Ministry of Funds, Mikel's for whatever. $600. Conte budget, uh, 140 million pounds for Lukaku and two others. And Liverpool disarms Gunners and London Derby, Chelsea battles Hammers. Zlatan EPL, not easy. She know that. And CSR yeah. dismisses Brazil, focus on Germany. Okay, Try and get yeah. you talking here. Uh, Zlatan said it's not easy. <laughs> he, 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 he didn't look like that for really? him because, <laughs> you know, I, I, fantastic thing about Zlatan, he kept his record of scoring in his debut. Yeah. Serie A, La Liga, Liga the Champion, uh, the Ligue 1, the Champions League, and yeah. now the Premier League. He just shows what a quality player mm -hmm. he is. And he's, he's, saying, he's, he's, he's saying it in his own words that it's not as easy as, as uh, expected, but. That's not what we're seeing. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's very modest. That's not what we're seeing. We're, we, he's, like, he's taking it to it like dog to water. Yeah. You know, scoring in the in the community shield yeah. and now scoring again in his, in his opening. Uh, and he game. said it's not easy. Yeah, I mean, this is <laughs> being modest. And everyone, has this, to make everyone, nice. <laughs> everyone has this um, you know, perception about Zlatan being um, arrogant and all. So it's just, you know, it's going the opposite uh, direction. <laughs> uh, let's go to sporting uh, life now. Yeah, that's the next paper for review. And uh, it's all about um, the Olympics as well, too. Mikel confesses semi-finals ticket is amazing. I salute to our fans for support. Uh, Jenny under 23, our coach, Nigeria have a strong team. So obviously, they won't be taking Nigeria lightly at all in that semi-final clash. Uh, Conte, okay, that's the Chelsea's manager. Defeats give me sleepless nights. Uh, that's ahead of tonight's game against um, West Ham. Uh, London Derby. And Mourinho wants Ferran at my United. I mean, he's got a buyer that looks like class at the moment. How's he going to get right for Ferran as well? Uh, Mourinho Mario has not hidden the fact that he wants another central defender. And uh, we also hear about Jose Fonte, the Southampton uh, player who is also, who's also Portuguese. So, yeah. um, it, what, it, what it tells you is that is Chris Smalling's place on that thread because Eric Bailly will play definitely. If he gets a new central defender, yeah, Chris Chris Smalling. Smalling. maybe he Shaky. just want, you know, you know, yeah, well, at the end of the interview yesterday, he talked about the fact that he wants to have a squad that can compete in the League Cup, the FA Cup, Europa the League. Europa League, yeah, and also the EPL title. So maybe he just wants to have, you know, a second string team. For, for, not for, when you look for, at United for, bench for right now, you, know, you can Manchester see United, they should, they should be having, uh, they should have a luxury of uh, lots of players to choose from. So if he gets uh, a Varane or he gets a Fonte, to add what he has to his squad, like uh, Cecilia just mentioned, four competitions, mm. definitely uh, the League Cup, FA Cup, uh, Europa League, and Premiership. So uh, there will be time, there will be space for everybody to play. But you know the thing with top players, competitive players, they want to play in every yeah, game. Exactly. So some people might just have issues. Uh, okay. I don't think the Varane deal, um, it's not likely to happen because at this stage of the season, you don't expect uh, Real Madrid uh, to sell uh, one of the best uh, defenders. The last thing, Sporting Life, 
a Jaguar starts with a knockout. Did you watch them? <laughs> if you're a Jaguar, I take on Nigel Paul. Yeah. Maybe before you started watching, I was yeah. not the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like he, he was going there with the points to prove, you yeah. know, uh, African champion, come on, champion. He just wants to show you that I can actually go out and, yeah. and be doing it on a big stage. So, uh, big, big, nice one for the lad. I'm actually supporting him. I just hope that uh, he gets a favorable draw uh, yeah. as he progresses because uh, there's somebody to watch out for there, the British guy. Uh, I, I think Joe, Joe, Joe Joyce or something, I can't remember his name now. Mm -hmm. So, is somebody, I think, uh, because he trains with Anthony Joshua and the likes of them. Yeah. I think uh, Afa Jabba should just okay. get a favorable draw. Yeah, and well, actually, who knows, I mean, he might get yeah, a medal. It's quite right. a final yeah, draw. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's quite it's quite yeah, exactly. Cause, cause, cause exactly. Stand. So, it's going to be huge yeah. and big. Chinasia, yeah. yeah. thank you so much for coming on the program. It's going to be tough for him. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cecilia Omogbe. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'm Tayo Salam. Bye for now.